Whether you are new to molding and casting, or you're an experienced guru, it's a good reminder to mention that polyurethanes in general can be sensitive to the moisture present in the air we breathe. Some climates are worse than others. Having said that, we remind folks to try and keep container lids closed on both the A and B liquids, dispensing only what you need and promptly resealing the cap. The practice of purging containers with dry nitrogen gas, argon, or other appropriate source of dry air before storage can help limit moisture absorption and extend the material's shelf life. This is what we call blanketing the material. To further explain how moisture affects polyurethane, the A side or ISO side will visibly react with moisture. It can skin, get lumpy, or appear hazy and cloudy. The B side or polyol side does not show any visible effect. That is until you mix it with the A. At that point, the mixture can produce carbon dioxide and bubbles can form. In some bad cases, even foam. Wood stir sticks and paper cups are a very common source of moisture contamination. Just ask our tech sales staff how many calls they field on this one. Another thing to note with regard to two-part polyurethanes is that while these systems are designed to process at room temperature, heat can act as a catalyst. This is why these materials are classified as thermosetting systems. So when you see the demold time stated on the data sheet, this is at a fairly modest temperature of around 77 degrees Fahrenheit. The demold time is also subject to the part's thickness, geometry, mold design, and on demold the part may still be in what we call a green stage where it's still very early in the cure and physical properties are gradually increasing. So be gentle with the part until you're familiar with the material's characteristics. If you need to speed up the demold process, you can look at a faster work time version of a given material, or you can pre-warm the mold to shorten the process. Even a modest temperature increase of 10 to 20 degrees in the mold can have a significant impact on the demold time and toughness of a part right after demolding. This allows you to work with the material at room temperature, maintaining the work time, and get the benefit of producing parts faster. If you have more questions on this, please feel free to contact our tech department. So let's recap. Stronger materials, more variety of durometer and work times available, user-friendly mix ratios, and ROHS and REACH compliance. With the world changing and customer demand, BJB is progressively pursuing the next frontier in castable polyurethane systems while maintaining unbeatable support and customer service. We've also added some interesting complementary products like our UV100 UV additive to extend the life of parts outdoors and our SC22 softening agent that can be added to many of our elastomer systems to adjust the hardness and feel of a particular system. Let us know if you have any questions or want a cured sample of these systems so you can see what's new. Thanks for watching and letting BJB take the mystery out of materials. Are you filming right now? I am. That was perfect, by the way. <laughs> okay. okay, one more time. Go, go for it. Let's see. Okay. Ready? Okay. Ready? A little, little smirk, a little smile. Look at me like, yep. And you're going to nod in agreement. You're going to look at me and just go. Yeah. <laughs>